Welcome back to SoFlow TV again everybody, it's your host of the most, watch this. I do videos and then I do follow-ups, okay, and this is a follow-up. So, five are charged in connection with Roger Chang's murder. I know recently we did a video uh, where I spoke about a Jamaican Chinese businessman who lost his life due to the fact that he was in contact with a young lady and he said that he was going to go see a waterfall right he was in touch with his family members though his daughter in particular and his daughter actually told law enforcement exactly what happened first of all let me say shout out to uh jcf you're doing a great job the jamaica constabulary force uh for bring and investigators involved all branches for bringing this for bringing those who are involved so speedily I know a lot of people are gonna say yeah man a Chinese businessman where you expect so flow they gonna catch the killer them quick 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 right any big politician they gonna catch the killer them quick 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 any regular man pss, you're lucky if them ever catch anybody they have a point there they have a point there what I want people to know though is that Roger Chan was as Jamaican as Jamaican can be. I see a kind of, I don't know what to call it, on my channel that I don't really like. And the reason why is because of this. So, you're, you're looking at Chinese people as just one people, right? When in fact, if you do that, you might as well look at black people as just one people. When... If you ask a Jamaican man that's a black man or a woman that's a black woman, the average Jamaican man or woman. So, a Haitian that come across then um, and then have children here in Jamaica is, is what? The, the children are what? They're not Haitian, they're Jamaicans. They're born in Jamaica, right? Alright. A lot of us are forgetting that we are from other places as well. And we ended up in Jamaica through a process of things that happen through history and some mixing and all this other stuff. So basically, me hear people are talk stuff like this. You might not know Jamaican, one Chinese are the same Chinese, the whole of them are Chinese, the whole of them belong to China. Well, if that's the case, then all of we belong to where our ancestors come from too then and none of us are Jamaican. So we don't have any right or we don't share any sympathy with anybody. End of the day, it don't mean nothing to me. I've done videos where I talk about Chinese taking over Jamaica and all that. That has nothing to do with this, all right? Because we know me grow up at Jamaica with Chinese picnic, and me did have Chinese friend, and them people they are big man and big woman now that have children of their own. You understand? Those who were older than us have been there, and they now have children that have children of their own that were born on the soil. You're talking about three, four generations deep that have never been back to China, or have never been to China. Period. So, them are Jamaican. But I'm not here to defend Roger Chang's Jamaican ness. You know what I'm saying? The part that uh, the part that really sat with me was where his daughter said, Daddy wasn't a stay at home person. He wasn't a separate himself, act like him better than everybody person. Every single day he was out the house and down the road. In some community, somewhere, he liked to walk around a lot, as a matter of fact. You will find them often either at some bar or some cook shop because not only the man can't stay home, he could have stayed home. Helper can cook him food, but he prefers to be out and among the people. You understand? He didn't think he was better than anybody else. Anyhow, the girl, the picture we showed, the person of interest, that person was brought in. And we were talking about how the person. On the short say a man that cause it looked like a boy just in a wig. A lot of people were saying stuff like that. Anyhow, she was known to frequent the um, corporate area and certain places and this and that. Boom! They caught her. And as soon as they caught her, detectives from St. Mary Division have charged five persons. It took five persons to do this. Have charged five persons with the murder of Roger Chang, a businessman of Pawsey Road, Kingston 5. Before I go any further and say anything, let me say this. It pays to watch who you listen to. 
because people were running around with fake information. So Flo, you're not even know the half of the story. The man shut down some big construction project, so they're never gonna find this killer card. This this was a hit. I send them send somebody for him and this and that. Nothing went like that. As some licky licky gravelicious Jamaican red eye that actually did this. Okay? Them see the man, he's a man of prominence. They think money. They try to extort money out of him and end up kill the man. Right? So charged our 23-year-old Khadijah McKenzie, which is the first person, which was the person of interest, of a Kingston 11 address. Then you have Seabert Duggan, who is 60 years old, a 23-year-old female, which is the one that he left to go see the waterfalls with. A 60-year-old man, Seabert Duggan, a mechanic of Enfield, St. Mary. And three teenagers, two 16-year-olds and a 17-year-old, which are all from Enfield, St. Mary. And she herself was known to frequent between St. Mary and the corporate area of Kingston, Jamaica. Boom! The connection established. You know what they did? Nothing but them detectives... Wall on a 23 year old and like I said before everybody is bad until you're sitting in one of those rooms and you're realizing how serious your charges are and you might not see the light of day again and I think I that one with this Agala and she just started to talk then probably says so oh we know say I murder the man you know we know it was y'all that killed him so check this out you want a life sentence by yourself you can give us everybody else that's involved you can Act remorseful and we will see what we can do to cut your time in half right now you're looking at 50 at a minimum 50 by the time you get out at 23 you'll be 75 years old 73 years old right and she start think oh god we can't do all that time let me tell you who Seabird Duncan and then um, the, other, the, the other three named uh, Uri, uh, Richard uh, Pelbert and <laughs> she tell every friggin thing and that's what happened right here anyways I'm glad that they are not only caught, arrested, charged now let's take it to trial all five have been charged with murder conspiracy to commit murder illegal possession of firearm and ammunition Possession of criminal property and benefiting from criminal property Mackenzie and one of the 16 year old boys were also charged with simple larceny and unauthorized access to computer data Chang's body was found along you, oh wait, you see them you, Chang's body was found along the shoreline in Dover St. Mary on Sunday March 15th with several stab wounds and the original story said several stab wounds to the back that tells me that whoever did this to the man didn't want to do it face to face because they didn't want to have to look in his eyes to do it I never know a real killer this you understand never know cold killer it was somebody where did that try a thing and the thing with them did that try was all messed up they left digital fingerprints everywhere the man laptop went missing and they were able to cyber track all the stuff that they did. So of course the girl is also charged which is Mackenzie and one of the 16 year olds are also charged with simple larceny and unauthorized access to computer data. So them gone in at the man computer and what God knows what they were doing in there more will re be revealed about this situation but again it wasn't no oh him shut down some billion dollar project um construction project and a long time them one get rid of him and so flow you, you don't know the half of the story man there was no half to the story okay it is what it is the same old story that we know happened all the time and of course people are gonna say he's an older man why was he in the company of a 23 year old girl that's nothing new. It's common in Jamaica, especially a man of prominence. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you want to see a waterfall with me where you go today? Girl jump in a car and go and she happy. I saw the world go. It's, it's, it's a transaction between two consenting adults. Nothing illegal about it. 
We might not feel comfortable with that age difference, but that is the way it is. A murder, they murder the man. It's Tough Low TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And again, I would like to say big up to the detectives from the St. Mary Division. And you guys are doing an awesome job. My love, I want to wrap this up quick, 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 quick. All right? I'm out. Peace.